Unit 13, Part 6. So, some cats and dogs are pedigreed is a mistaken attempt to symbolize this, right? There exists an X such that, so you, such that both, it's pedigreed and it's either a cat or a dog. So what's good about this, you do have the existential quantifier with the dot. You always want those to go together, pretty much always. Existential with a dot, you know those with a hook, pound that into your brain, that's how they go. Um, but reading this back, what does this say? This say, notice this. What's wrong with this one is that it is satisfied by one pedigreed cat, right? There exists some one, you know, what are the truth conditions for this statement? This one that I've said is equivalent to this. And when I recognize what the truth conditions of this statement is, I will recognize that it's too weak to express this, that the English sentence says something stronger. This says, there exists an X such that two things are true of it, it's pedigreed, and it's either a cat or a dog, right? So if you give me one pedigreed cat, or if you give me a universe that has just one pedigreed cat in it, then this is true, even if there are no pedigreed dogs, right? You see why, right? There exists a, if you give me one pedigreed cat, then there is at least one thing such that it's either a cat, it, it can be a, a cat or a dog, it's a cat and it's pedigreed, I've satisfied this. But this, this sentence says something stronger. Some cats and dogs are pedigreed. I'm saying what? I'm saying that there are pedigreed cats and there are pedigreed dogs. Okay, let me make another attempt. Let me try this. There exists an X such that, now I'm gonna make a conjunction here, right? But no, this is no good, because we have cat dogs again. There exists an X, there is some one X such that both, it is both a cat and a dog and is pedigreed. Oh no, we've got pedigreed cat dog. Our cat dogs are now pedigreed. That's not what this says. This says, so, uh, if you try both of them, hopefully you had the aporia, the perplexity of how on earth do I symbolize this? Okay, good. Um, realize now that you are not locked into um, formulas only of quantified form. You are entitled like we had up here, remember this? In the end of the last part, part five I think. Um, this is a conjunction of universal statements. And that is one way you can symbolize this other one, cats and dogs make good pets, right? This is all cats make good pets and all dogs make good pets. That's how I say cats and dogs make good pets, right? Point being, you are not, you are not restricted in your symbolizing to um, having a quantifier and the quantifier binding the whole formula. You can have, you can have, you can use conjunctions or conditionals, right, if appropriate, with the parts, or in this case the conjuncts, being um, themselves quantifier statements. Uh, you need that option, you need to be aware of that option in symbolizing, and you need that option to symbolize this one. Some cats and dogs in pedi are pedigreed, because uh, I'm asserting is true that there exist pedigreed cats, and also there exist pedigreed, pedigreed dogs. So I need to avail myself of this, this form here. This is the correct one, All right? This is a conjunction. There exists an X such that both X is a cat and X is pedigreed, and there exists an X such that X is a dog and X is pedigreed, right? I just said two things separately, but that's what I need to say. That correctly captures the logical form of that.